This is part 100 of ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss what if CDN is down. This is continuation to part 99, so please watch part 99 before proceeding. There are several benefits of referencing a resource from a CDN. We discussed all these benefits in the previous session of this video series. Keep in mind, a CDS is still an external resource and beyond our control. So what if CDN is down? What's going to happen to your application? Now at the moment, our application is relying on a jQuery from jQuery CDN. At the moment, jQuery CDN is up and running, so our application is working as expected. Now let's assume jQuery CDN is down. And to simulate that, let's actually disconnect from the internet. So I'm going to disconnect from the internet and then let's reload this view. So at the moment I'm not connected to um, internet so obviously this script should fail loading. And look at this when I enter number 4 and click submit okay the application is still working that's because the previous time when we have visited the website the jQuery file is downloaded and it is cached so at the moment the browser is using that cached version. So let's delete the browser history so that um, you know the jQuery file is deleted from the cache and let's actually reload this now and let's enter a number click submit and look at that it doesn't work as expected look at this let me actually press F12 so at the moment I'm using Google Chrome when you press F12 you know we get developer tools and look at this you know within developer tools click console tab and look at this you know code.jquery.com and this version of the jQuery file failed to load resource and since jQuery file failed to load the resource you know dollar is not defined so we have two errors and our application is not working so if CDN is down and if you're loading a resource from a CDN um, you know your application is not going to work um, the way you expect it to work Okay, so we need a mechanism in place to fall back to use a local copy of our jQuery file in case if CDN is down. And to achieve that, all you need to do is um, check a property of the vendor object jQuery. If jQuery is downloaded, then that property will be true. If that is not true, then we are going to write the script tag onto our page. Okay, so we are dynamically writing the script tag. And if you look at the script tag, it's very straightforward. So we are setting script source equals, you know, the path for your jQuery file that's present on your web server. And then if you look at, you know, here, you know, for the closing script tag, instead of using an angular bracket there, we are using this hexadecimal character backslash x3c. So backslash x3c is a hexadecimal representation for less than symbol. Let's actually look at that in action. So here is that code. So let me copy that and then paste that right here. Now look at this. Here we are using hexadecimal uh, code instead of you know angular bracket you may be thinking why because if I use you know this less than symbol there the angular bracket look at that that is treated as a closing script tag we don't want that to happen we want this expression to be evaluated I mean this this line to be written at runtime dynamically depending the value of this property okay so since we don't want to treat that as a closing script tag during design time we're going to use that hexadecimal character okay so now let's go ahead and run this so we are still disconnected from the internet so now the application should work so let's enter a number click submit look at that the application still doesn't work let's determine why so press F12 it's going to get us the developer tools and on the console tab look at this it still says fail to load this resource and that's fine because we are not connected to the internet so CDN is down um, and it still says dollar is not defined you know that's basically because look at this um, we need to have this script tag immediately after this script tag because we we failed to download jQuery from CDN so try to download you know use the local version of the jQuery file okay uh, the reason why 
our application is still not working is because look at this we had this code right here so you know this custom JavaScript is making use of the jQuery library okay and we are loading our jQuery after our custom JavaScript and that's the reason why it's not working we need to have this before we actually use the jQuery library so now when we run this let's press control F5 and let's actually press F12 and look at the console window we only have one error fail to load resource that is we fail to load uh, the jQuery file from the jQuery CDN that's fine that's expected but now our application should continue to work so click submit look at that number is even and if I enter an odd number it still has to work okay now let's actually go back and turn on the internet connection okay so now when we run this application it sh since the CDN is up you know we have the internet connectivity up so our application should be able to connect to the CDN and download the required jQuery files now when I press F12 you know we shouldn't have any errors within the console so this proves that at the moment our application is using the jQuery library from the jQuery CDN and not the local version so a very simple trick to fall back to use the local resource uh, when CDN is down that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day